Hello and welcome back. Now, before we proceed further with implementing the pagination logic, before that, I also want to cover a concept of DTO intersection. So let's understand what we mean by DTO intersection. Let's go to Postman. And currently, if you see with this request, we are only passing two query parameters, limit and page. And these two query parameters will be read by this pagination query DTO. Okay, so here we have the pagination query DTO where we are specifying two properties, limit and page. So these will be read, the value for these properties will be read from the query parameters. Now let's say for this tweet, along with pagination, let's say we also have tweet related query parameters. So for example, let's say we also want to allow users to filter tweets based on a start date and end date. Now start date and end date does not have to do anything with the pagination. So that's why we are not going to add it in this pagination query DTO. But still somehow we want to allow user to pass start date and end date so that they can filter the tweets based on the start date and end date. Currently if I go ahead and before that let me go to tweet controller and here we are already logging this pagination query DTO. Now let's go to Postman and there let me go ahead and let me add two more query parameters. For example, start date, I'll just give some random value, maybe 2025 and end date, let's say 2026. Okay, and let me go ahead and let me send this request. Here you will see that we have this bad request response because this endpoint here this get tweet endpoint it is not able to handle the request because in the request we have two extra parameters which is not defined in this pagination query dto and because of that you can see the response that it says property start date should not exist and property end date should not exist but still somehow we want to allow users to pass the start date and end date with the query parameter if they want to filter the tweets based on the start date and end date. But we cannot add these two query parameters in our pagination query DTO. So for that, we will have to create a different DTO. How can we do that? For that, we are going to create another DTO. So in this tweet folder, we have this DTO folder. There we already have DTOs for update tweet and create tweet. Here I'm also going to create one more DTO. I mean one more DTO file and let me call it as get tweet query DTO. You can name it anything. Okay, so get tweet query dot DTO dot TS. Now here I'm going to create a class, but I'm not going to export this class and I'm going to call this class get tweet base DTO. Okay, and Inside this, I'm going to have two properties, start date, which is going to be of type date. And I'm also going to have an end date, which is again going to be of type date. And let's also mark these two properties as optional. So I'm going to use this is optional class validator. And to use it, we are going to import it from class validator. And I'm also going to decorate it with is date because the value which we are going to get for the start date and end date, it should be a date value. And to use this is date, that also we need to import from class validator. And same thing, let's go ahead and let's add for end date. So we are going to decorate this end date also with is optional and is date. And since both of these properties are optional, let's also mark it as optional using this question mark. All right, let's save the changes. Now, if I go ahead and if I use this DTO, here in that case we will be able to pass start date and end date query parameter but then we will not be able to pass limit and page query parameter so now what we are going to do is here we have this get tweet base dto where we have start date and end date and here we have this pagination dto where we have limit and page now what we can do is we can intersect these two dto classes and when we intersect them we can create a DTO which can take both limit and page as well as start date and end date. And for that, all we have to do is 
we have to create another class and this class i'm going to call it as get tweet query dto and here we are also going to export this class and now what do we want to do here is here we want to create a dto which is an intersection of this get tweet based dto and this pagination query dto for that here we are going to use extends and then we have a class called intersection type okay and to use this intersection type we also need to import it from nestjs slash map types and when we are using this intersection type we need to call it like this and inside that we need to specify which classes do we want to intersect so here let me move it to a separate line to make it more readable and here we want to intersect get tweet based dto okay with pagination query dto and to use this pagination query dto we will also have to import it in this file and that's it now let me copy this get tweet query dto so now here let me save this file so now in our get tweets method here instead of using this dto for reading the query parameter here i'm going to use this get tweet query dto okay so here let me name the variable as get tweet query dto and it is going to be of type get tweet query dto okay and for now let me simply comment this line and in this controller we will simply log this get tweet query dto if i save the changes here and let's go to postman and from here let's make a request so here we are not going to get any response and if we go to the terminal there you will see an object of type get tweet query dto has been logged and there we have all the query parameters the limit the page start date and end date so in this way we have intersected two dto's here we have intersected get tweet based dto and pagination query dto and this is called as dto intersection so this is one concept which might be useful in scenarios where you want to have two different dto's for two different functionalities here we have one dto for pagination and one dto for filtering the tweets based on start date and end date and in this way when we intersect them in the request url we can specify query parameters from both these dto's i hope you got the point but let me go back to our tweet controller.ts and here i just wanted to show you that this is also one concept which we can use here i'm going to revert back the changes which we have made because we want to use the pagination query dto then only we will be able to call this get tweets from this tweet service okay but i hope now you understand what do we mean by intersection dto so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day